up, everyone? Mark Lobiner, TigerFitness.com. Woo! We're getting into it, man. TRT, Testosterone Replacement Therapy. Now, if you're ever on the internet, it's like, oh, no, you're on TRT. You're going to have heart problems. Your heart's going to explode. You're on steroids. You're a cheater. Well, I actually looked up a study. That's right. There's a study on TRT and cardiovascular problems. That's right, heart attacks, death. This is a big study, over 5,000 participants. Very well-designed study. And I wanna, first of all, tell you what TRT is. TRT is not going to the neighborhood steroid dealer and saying, hey, I would like a vial of that dear testosterone made in someone's bathtub. And then guessing the dose, and saying, oh, there's the dose. I'm on TRT. I'm not taking two grams a day. So I mean, it has to be TRT, right? No. TRT is prescribed by a doctor or a clinic or someone who has the right or the um, qualifications to read over your blood work, determine if you need testosterone replacement therapy. When I say need, I mean need. Well, you don't need testosterone replacement therapy to live, really. You don't need it to survive but you need it to live sometimes. If you're hypogonadal, if you have very low testosterone, your quality of life is absolute garbage. And I know I've been there. I had a total testosterone count at one point of 77. This is before touching any exogenous hormones. It just happens. Some people it's genetic, for me it was lifestyle driven, not from alcohol, not from anything else. I just didn't take care of myself. I worked too much and I, I dieted too hard. That's what it came down to. To put myself through school, bro, I literally would train people. Uh, I'd start at, I'd, I'd leave that, I'd leave my apartment at like 4 a.m. and I'd get home. Last client would be at 10 p.m., had homework, study, and et cetera, et cetera. Drove myself into the ground, started my businesses, started my career, and I just didn't take care of myself. I slept an average of three hours a night on a good night. And honestly, like I did this to myself. TRT for me saved my life, meaning that my quality of life, and well, you can't have kids. So Cammy, my 18 year old, she's going to college next week. She was conceived completely natural. My other two children, this is before I did any of the, you know, HCG or any of that stuff, conceived while on TRT. So while TRT does decrease the quantity of your semen or your sperm or your little swimmers, it doesn't decrease the quality. I look at it this way. We didn't have as much sperm. Those bastards can swim. That's why they're such good athletes. They're such good swimmers, right? Or you can say less competition, so maybe they're not as, whatever. We won't go there. So I'm gonna go into this study, man. TRT is great. Now, if you're looking for a good clinic, I have one, Hormone Health and Wellness. And I'm gonna, uh, if you wanna know who they are, DM me on Instagram at Mark Lobliner, or it's in the description if you're on YouTube. Any way you want to get a hold of me, I'll get to get to you. Um, I'll get you their information. Hormone Health and Wellness out of West Palm Beach. Amazing. I did get TRT prescribed, insurance covered by a doctor, but I will pay out of pocket um, for better treatment, better care. And also, since I've been with them, which I believe is 2017, I've crushed life. I've boxed competitively. I obtained my IFBB pro card and they're so good at what they do. I could be on 150 to 200 milligrams of test a week, keep my levels pristine between 900, 1100 total testosterone. And, um, that's my levels. I'm not taking 900 to 1100 a week. Let me just get that straight. I got, people got confused last time. I just feel great. Again, there's other clinics. There's only one that I thoroughly support and recommend. My name is on the drop down, but I will assure you I do not get commission. Put anybody's name. I don't care. I don't get commission. Never have taken a paycheck from them. I just really love them. I've become close with Kurt and Jill, the owners. And that's that. Like they're family friends. That's where it comes down to. So if you need an HRT place, I got one. A lot of times when I was getting it prescribed, I'm a general practitioner. Like they didn't really know what they were doing. They didn't look at the other things. They didn't look at the ancillaries. They looked at nothing. And I'll just say that since 2017, you can look at me on Instagram. Since 2017, I've been crushing life. I've been doing crazy things, hiking. 
I feel and look better than ever in my opinion, and I think it helped me grow this epic beard. But regardless, let's get to this. This is from the New England Journal of Medicine. Well, that might be a credible journal. <laughs> Maybe um, it was published, um, A. Michael Linkoff, MD, uh, a bunch of different doctors, right? Let's go et al, right? June 16th, 20, 2023, June 16th, 2023. So the background is the cardiovascular safety of testosterone replacement therapy in middle-aged and older men with, hyper, with hypogonadism has not be, been determined. So there's a multi-center randomized double-blind placebo-controlled non-inferiority trial with 5246, 5,246 men aged 45 to 80 years, right in my, I'm on the lower end, I'm 44 in a couple months, pre-existing or a high risk of cardiovascular disease who reported symptoms of hypogonadism and had two fasting T levels, testosterone levels, of less than 300 nanograms per deciliter. Um, they were randomly assigned to receive daily transdermal testosterone gel or placebo gel. Um, so that's pretty much what it is. And let's go into the results. The results. So the mean duration of treatment was 21.7 plus minus 14.1 months. Uh, mean follow-up was 33.0 plus minus 12.1 months. A primary cardiovascular endpoint event occurred in 182 patients in the testosterone group and 190 in the placebo group. Similar findings were observed in sensitivity analyses, which data or events were censored at various times after discontinuation of testosterone or placebo. Uh, the incidence of secondary endpoint events or of each of the events of the op opposite Composite primary cardiovascular endpoint appeared to be similar in the two groups. A higher incidence of atrial fibrillation of acute kidney injury and of pulmonary embolism was observed in the testosterone group. So again, not significant, but TRT does have a little bit of risk, but there are other data, which we're not talking about here, which will show or demonstrate that being low in testosterone, being clinically low is more dangerous to your heart health than all other health aspects, including quality of life, which I think is important than actually being on TRT to normalize. Conclusion, in men with hypogonadism and pre-existing or high-risk cardiovascular disease, testosterone replacement therapy was non-inferior to placebo with respect to the incidence of major adverse cardiac events. The cardiovascular effects of testosterone replacement therapy in middle-aged men and older men with hypogonadism has not been determined. Retrospective cohort studies involving men receiving testosterone replacement therapy have shown conflicting results. Let me see if we get to the um, get to all the uh, the methods. I mean, basically, you had a placebo group and you had a testosterone group. So I'm going to get down to um, one thing I wanted to look at. So they look at statistical analysis. Again, it's a full study. I'll post it down below. And there was one thing I really wanted to read to you guys um, where they were just going into what testosterone replacement therapy is. Adverse events, prostate cancer occurred in 12 patients in the testosterone group and 11 patients in the placebo group. Again, not statistically significant. Um, these cases are adjudicated as high-grade prostate cancer. Indicated intermediate or higher risk in five patients and three patients, respectively. The increase in PSA levels for baseline was greater in patients with a testosterone group, as you'd expect, right? Um, level from the placebo group. Non-fatal arrhythmias, warranty inter intervention occurred in 134 patients in the testosterone group and in 87 patients in the placebo group. Arterial fibrillation occurred in 91 patients and 63 patients, respectively. Acute kidney injury occurred in 60 patients and 40 patients. So again, you're seeing a little bit more, but again, you're looking at a large group, long time they study these people. Again, you're looking at just statistical insignificance and also just extrapolating from other studies. It is more detrimental to live your life with low testosterone, than to live your life with your testosterone mediated or increased to a high, to a normal to high normal level um, than living your life with, with low testosterone. So my whole thing is, um, let me just see something here real quick. Yeah. So let's get to this. TRT. TRT is not swole RT. 
TRT is simply getting your levels up to what they should be. What should they be? Well, that depends. In my opinion, someone who works a desk job who isn't very physically active, who doesn't have much demands in their life, I think between 500 and 800, pretty damn good. For someone who wants the most out of life, for someone who wants to play with their kids, for someone who wants to still play sports, for someone who wants to, who's a CEO type individual, who has to crush it at work, come home, pleasure his wife, do everything he needs to do. I personally, again, not a doctor, I'm an idiot, I personally like those levels to be around 900 to 1100. That's where I like to be, that's where I feel my best. Any higher than that, I just don't feel right. What does that mean? I can't explain it. I don't feel right. Now, when I'm below 900, eh, 700 to 900, I feel I. Right. but that 900 to 1100 range, I find that I absolutely crush life. I find that I am able to hike further. I'm able to swim better. I'm able to lift harder. I'm able to focus better at work. My blood pressure stays 110 over 70. My resting heart rate stays in the 45 to 50 range. That's what I consider health. So if you're looking at markers, oh, Mark, you're gonna die. You're on TRT, you're a cheater. First of all, I don't give a shit who I'm cheating. Who am I cheating? I don't compete in natural shows. I got an IFBB pro card in a non-tested show. I'm hiking with my family. I guess I'm cheating my kids because I'm keeping up with them. Honestly, I should be given extra testosterone to keep up with elite teenage athletes. Bro, it's all about living your best life. And everything you do in life has risk, okay? There's risk. Should everyone be on TRT? Absolutely not. If you are 60 years old and you're rocking an 800 T level, there is no way I'd tell you to go on TRT. No way I'd tell you to put exogenous things into your body. But if you're 40 years old and your testosterone level is below 400, I would say, yeah, if you can't increase that naturally, maybe through test boosters like MTS Nutrition Insurgent, maybe through diet, lifestyle, diet lifestyle obviously first before supplements even, right? Then what, what? Why wouldn't you look into this therapy? Why, because you're afraid someone on Twitter is gonna say you're a cheater? Because you're afraid you're gonna have a little bit better sex with your wife? You're afraid you'll have a harder erection? You're afraid you'll be able to train better? You're afraid you might gain a little bit of muscle? Oh, but he's on TRT, it's easier on TRT. Easier than what? You get a teenager with 1,200 natural testosterone versus a 44-year-old man on supplemental testosterone with the same level? There's no difference. Only difference is his is coming from his balls. Mine's coming from a needle. I don't care. I want to live as long as possible. Someone the other day said something really stupid. You really don't want to live till 110 years old. My quality of life is awesome. Fuck yeah, I want to live to 110. I want to live to 210. I want to live as long as possible. I don't want to die. I love my life. My life is awesome. My life is fucking great. Why would I want to die? But why would I want to live 110 years or even 180 years living like a piece of shit? Also, it affects your brain. Have you seen the data on voting patterns? People with higher testosterone, people with lower testosterone? I'm not going to take political sides, but let's just say the touchy-feely people who vote most like women have lower testosterone levels. Whether they vote like that because they're T-levels or they have T-levels like that because they vote like that, maybe skinny jeans are cutting off the circulation to their balls. I don't know. But at the end of the day, guys, we're here on this earth once. We want to live the best life we possibly can. Want to have the best sex. Want to have the best lifting. Want to have the best body. We want to live as long as possible with TRT and these new interventions, these medical interventions. That's right. TRT is a medical intervention. A medical intervention. If we have medical interventions that will make our life better, unlike statins, something that completely debilitates you, cause terrible muscle soreness, cause all these other issues, we're able to take something safely under the direction of a doctor, a clinician, and make our life that much better. Why wouldn't you do that? Why wouldn't you do that? Because someone on Twitter is going to say you're a cheater? 
because someone on Twitter who's fat can't see their friggin' penis because their stomach's in the way, hasn't walked a mile in 20 years. Their idea of exercise and getting steps is walking to the refrigerator and back, walking to the bathroom and back. Why would I give a fuck what that fat fuck has to say? I'm living my best fucking life. Data is coming out that is showing us that TRT might not be the fountain of youth, but it's damn close. It is damn close. Only if you need it. And I'm going to go on a limb. We have testosterone levels right now for 20-year-old men that are the same as testosterone levels 30 years ago for 70-year-old men. On average, what's causing it? I think it's obesity. I really do. Could it be microplastics? Could it be this, that, the third? Could it be our, our pussy-ass society where, oh, everybody gets a trophy. Oh, I don't want to offend anybody. I don't know. I don't know. But if I can have this wonderful medical intervention to make me better, why wouldn't I fucking do that? Exactly. But with that being said, how do you support me? How do you support this channel? How do you support us being able to spread this amazing information that people don't talk about? Well, number one is you shop at tigerfitness.com. That's right, tigerfitness.com. It's my site. I have a free book for you. Superiorhypertrophy.com, no strings. Superiorhypertrophy.com, absolutely free. Just download it. You click the buy button, it's $0 and you download it. Pretty simple, it gets emailed to you, you're good, boom, good. Okay, number two is you buy all your supplements from tigerfitness.com. Whether it's MTS Way, Ambrosia Planta, we got it. That's how you support me. Go to tigerfitness.com, shop with us, greatly appreciate it. I'll even give you a coupon code for 10% off. Coupon code is test is best. T E S T I S B E S T. Test is best. Gets you 10% off everything at tigerfitness.com, the whole entire site. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to shop at tigerfitness.com. Shop, 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 shop. Economy sucks. Our sales suck. We need your help. Please, please help us. I'm serious. They don't suck. I just want them better. I always want better. I need your support. I'm earning your support. I'm doing my best. Please support us at tigerfitness.com. Coupon code TEST is best, 10% off. And of course, follow me on Instagram at Mark Lobliner, Twitter at Mark Lobliner, and um, Rumble, Rumble. My nightly show with Alan Roberts, evening rants, 7 p.m. daily, Monday through Thursday. Rumble.com slash evening rants. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm Mark Lobliner, and that's not a game. For the past few months, I've been making the gains of my life. Never thought I'd be training this way, but I've taken all of the new data on hypertrophy and put it together. Not only am I making all these gains, I'm never terribly sore. I never feel run down. My energy is through the roof. I'm able to hike. I'm able to swim. I'm going to do everything I love. It doesn't cut into my life. I don't feel fatigued. I don't feel terrible, but I'm still making these crazy gains. It is the Superior Hypertrophy Training Book, and it is yours, and it is free. Go to superiorhypertrophy.com. That's superiorhypertrophy.com and start it today. You have nothing to lose. It's absolutely free. My gift to you. Now go make some damn gains. People are literally going outside, spreading their legs and sun tanning their balls. People are following these crazy diets, eating before 8 a.m., after 8 p.m. They don't know what they're doing. They're looking at all these strange things, strange foods, trying to increase their testosterone, training a.m., p.m., full body, half body. They're looking for these secrets, these solutions, a shortcut to a great body, to build muscle, to burn fat, to be the best them ever. This is crazy because it's all about protein, guys. People doing all of this stuff aren't even getting the thing that we know works. They're not getting enough protein. That's what you need protein people don't eat enough of it how do we get that message across they need about a gram per pound of body weight of protein so before you do all this crazy stuff for goodness sakes guys get enough protein in your diet or you're just going to be spinning your wheels making no gains that other stuff might work but if you don't have enough protein it means nothing it's hard to eat that much protein you might not have time you're not a busy job we need is something easy something you can just throw in a shaker bottle put a little water in it shake it up and there you go you have protein 20 grams a scoop ambrosia planta it makes it so easy to get your protein so before you go doing all this crazy stuff wasting time and energy make sure you get enough protein in your diet